Cam Miller was in the quarterback spot for the Bison today, and he put on a show. He completed 10 of 14 passes for 179 yards and three touchdowns. Ten different Bison carried the ball, but Kobe Johnson was the rushing leader. He only carried the ball five times, but finished with 155 yards and a touchdown. That's an average of 30 yards a carry. Head coach Matt Entz gave his reaction to this dominant display after the game. Challenged our guys before the game. We're going out of the month of October with a blast because the month of November we got to be playing our best football. Uh, and that's that doesn't matter if you're Little League Baseball or in the NFL. You always want to be playing your best best football or best of anything at the end of the season. And that's what we're trying to accomplish. Moving to high school now after a bye week to open the postseason, the Moorhead Spuds hosting their first game of the Section 8 5A tournament against Alexandria. Moorhead up 21-7 here to start the second half, but here come the Cardinals. The handoff up the middle to Will Haight, and he's not going to slow down. Haight brushing off a few defenders there as he finds the end zone. It's now a seven-point game. The script getting flipped entirely now to start the fourth quarter. Alexandria working from the goal line. This time Haight takes the carry to the outside and in for another score. We're tied up at 21. The Spuds taking the very next drive all the way down the field, and they're knocking on the door here. Jamal Dixon bouncing this run to the outside, breaking a tackle to sprint over the goal line for the go-ahead score. The Spuds lead 27-21 in the fourth quarter, another heartbreaker in Minnesota tonight. Spuds season coming to an end with a 42-39 upset by Alexandria. There were two lead changes in the final minute of this game, including the game-winning touchdown by the Cards with just 24 seconds left on the clock. Here's a look at the full 5A bracket now. Alexandria will now face Bemidji, who advanced to the title game with their win over Sock Rapids Rice. That title game will be in Bemidji next Friday. We've got a lot of brackets to look through. Let's go. Let's start with our other sections now. Here's the 3A bracket. DGF still unbeaten against teams at the 3A level, moving past Thief River Falls 28-7. They now play Fergus Falls in the Fargo Dome next Thursday, who beat Purim to move on. In AA, the top two seeds advancing. First, Barnesville moves on with a big win over War Road and Pelican Rapids downs Hall. 24 to 13 to punch their ticket to the dome. They play next Friday. And last but certainly not least, we have our nine man bracket. We have a rematch in the section title game. Fertile Beltrami surviving Clearbrook Gonvick and Norman County East Yule and Hitterdahl defeating Nevis in a closer battle. That last time these two teams met, they were both undefeated in the regular season. Now they'll play for a trip to state. And in case you missed our six o'clock show, we also ran through our North Dakota State Championship brackets. You can find those on our website. Stick around. Plenty more to come after the break, including the Hall of Fame game with the UND hockey team.